Hi guys, Chris again, and in this video, we are looking at the 4th gen Intel Core i5 CPU family. There are a variety of different chips in this family, uh, anywhere from 2013 to 2014. Uh, generally speaking, the basic specs are about the same, so my advice is going to apply to all of them, though some of them will be at a higher performance level within that advice, and some of them will be in a lower performance level within that advice. Um, so these are four core, four threaded CPUs, upper mid-level to lower mid-level, depending on what you're looking at, released between 2013 and 2014. <clears throat> these will run most modern applications, most modern games. However, they should be avoided. Older CPUs past eighth gen don't game on modern games particularly well. Some of them are okay and functional. For example, the 6700K, 7700K, and even the older 4790K, which is the same generation as this, and will work on the same motherboards as this, generally speaking. Um, my finding with these chips is that I'm not positive. I believe it's the lack of hyper-threading, though. Newer games want a little bit more just a little bit more than what these old four-core non-hyper-threaded i5 CPUs can deliver. This goes back as far as first-gen i5 and as far up as eighth-gen i5. I'm sorry, seventh-gen i5, ending with eighth-gen i5. They just don't have the horsepower. And typically what that means is your stuff will run, but it will not run very well. A system that can run, say, Fortnite, for example, at a smooth 120 FPS when paired with, say, a GTX 1070 or 1080 and an i7-4790K will be stuttery in many cases. It, it just it won't play very well. Um, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to explain that if, you, if you're fairly new, but just know it will not be a good experience. These should be avoided. If you are looking at 4th gen hardware, i7-4790Ks are so incredibly cheap in most cases that there is no good reason to, to get a system with a 4th gen non-hyper-threaded 4-core uh, i5. Um, if you do get one, don't pay for it. That's my advice when it comes to what, what they're worth. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys find this information on the 4th Gen i5 processors useful, and thanks for watching the video.